He's now taking a runner. Erling Haaland, can he win it for City? 1st of January 2019, Salzburg buys Holland for $8 million. June 13, 2022, Man City buys Holland for $62 million. In the space of only three years, Holland has become one of the most promising strikers in football history. And we're going to outline every single step which has brought him to this very point. First up is July 21st, 2000. Erlen Holland was born in Leeds, England. His father, Alfie, was a right back who spent most of his career at Manchester City. His mother, Grima Marita, was a professional athlete in Norway, meaning Holland was born to be an athlete. In 2004, the entire family moved back to Norway because Erling's father couldn't continue playing any longer. He never fully recovered after Roy Keane almost chopped off his leg. Oh, Roy Keane on Holland. It's a red card issued by David Ellery to Manchester United's captain for the fourth time. Ah, that hurts just looking at it. The foul literally ended Alfie's career and is still one of the most outrageous tackles in football history. But luckily for Alfie, his son joined Mould at the age of 16. Young Holland had already made a name for himself and got the nickname Manchild because of his height and muscular body compared to his teammates. And that's not the only way which he separated himself from the rest, because on his debut, he immediately showed off his ability to score. But weirdly enough, Holland only scored four more times that season. It seemed like he had to adjust the mold's different way of playing. But after a lot of training, he suddenly scored one goal after the other. And that's when manager Ola Solskjaer knew he couldn't hold on to him for much longer. So he'll, he'll be a top player if I get him to Man United instead of him and City like his dad played for him. That's right. On January 1st of 2019, Rebel Salzburg swooped in and signed the promising striker for $8 million. Holland was happy with the transfer, but he knew he still had to prove himself. When asking his teammates, all they could tell you is how mature he was for a 19-year-old. He's an absolute top professional. While we are playing cards on trips away, you can only see him reading some scientific articles on how he can improve his sleep or diet. He's always looking for the smallest detail that he can improve. To take another step forward, says Maximilian Verba. And besides reading, Holland spent most of his free time watching his idols, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Cristiano Ronaldo. He watched their best moments day in and day out. So when he got a call from the Norwegian under-20 squad to play at the World Cup 2019, he knew exactly what to do. Hauke, great move, Holland, lovely ball over the top again, and Holland finishes. In that first game against Honduras, he didn't score one, not two, not three, but nine goals, making headlines all over the world. That game was our official introduction to the man-child of Norway. That game was exactly what Holland needed, because right after he started getting more and more minutes at Salzburg, the club finally realized he could actually win a lot of games for the team. And well, I guess that was a smart move, because on his Champions League debut, he did this. Yeah, my man scored a flipping hat trick on his first Champions League appearance. Everyone at Salzburg started to love him and thousands of fans bought his jersey. But who knew they could throw that one in the bin only two months later? <laughs> yeah, Holland's potential was getting noticed all around the world. Clubs like Manchester United, Chelsea, and Juventus were all after him. That was until Dortmund offered a stunning $20 million to sign him. But there's one thing not many people know about that signing. Before they eventually put pen to paper, there was one very important promise to be made. Holland himself, his father, and his agent, Mino Raiola, insisted that Erlen would be Dorman's first choice striker, and if not, they would pull out and sign somewhere else. But Dortmund didn't want that, so after going back and forth for a while, Dortmund's trainer eventually gave in and signed the deal. I, feel, I just felt that uh, me and Dortmund was a uh... And that's when the real fun began. Lovely stuff. Erling Haaland. The flag has stayed down. It's Erling Haaland. He's past Horn. Guerrero's in the middle and he doesn't need it. He started breaking one record after the other. Became the first ever Bundesliga substitute to score a hat trick on his debut. Erling Haaland takes Sancho. Oh, it's a good pass from Sancho. Oh, and it's an excellent finish. Sides. Flag has stayed down. This is Hazard. Talking to Hazard. Looks up. Damn! 
It's definitely a good way to win over the fans. He quickly became Dortmund's most popular player, but that could also have something to do with his hilarious interviews. After the final whistle, you and the whole teammates, you were going to the south stand, the famous yellow wall, which was empty today, of course. Uh, why did you do that? Uh, why not? Well, what's going on now? I wanted to stretch my chest and my tummy. So if you want to join me for that. Okay. But I'm really happy to have more uh, shooting than you. Really? Ah, my man can score and crack a joke. What a guy. He became the sensation and everyone at the club saw he was built differently. Dortmund's trainer at the time described him as one of the best players he had ever worked with. He has such power when he goes deep between the two centrals, nobody can stop him. He has made great progress. He's a hard worker with a great mentality and someone who will always want to win. And that eagerness to win made him unstoppable during his time in Dortmund. On the 14th of May, 2022, Holland played his last game for the German club, having scored 86 goals in 89 games total. And on that same day, all the big clubs started calling. But Erling knew exactly where he wanted to play next, Manchester City. He's now taking a run up. Erling Haaland, can he win it for City? Erling Haaland! The hype around this transfer was insane. Everyone was talking about it. 50, he's gonna be unbelievable. He's gonna be unbelievable. Haaland, an amazing player. That was my dream signing. That meant Erling had to live up to so many expectations. He was even being compared to Ronaldo Lima when he was 22 years old. It's starting to understand the comparison, because even at Man City, Haaland was unstoppable and broke one record after the other. He's the first player to ever score a hat-trick in three games in a row. He scored 15 goals in his first 10 games, making it the most goals ever scored in someone's first 10 Premier League appearances. The first player to score both his Premier League and his Champions League debut for a club. The most Champions League goals after 30 games. All of these records made him incredibly popular, and if you look up the amount of searches done on his name, you can see that he's never been as popular before. This quick rise to fame also got billion dollar brands like Nike, Adidas, and Puma fighting over the Norwegian striker. And the funny thing about this is that Holland is playing with him just like he does with his opponent on the pitch. He wore Puma boots during his Man City photo shoot, Adidas in preseason, and played his first two games wearing Nike. This left the three biggest boot manufacturers battling for months to have him lace up their shoes when he runs out onto the field. And Holland hasn't made up his mind to this day. I guess he's still waiting for them to make him an offer that he can't refuse. I think it's safe to say that Holland has already written history in the little 22 years that he's been walking around, he's far from finished. I'm guessing he'll win at least four Ballon d'Ors in his career, but if you want to know what he spends his money on, go check out this video right here.